Oh, you're now recognized from the moms. No, thank you, Mr. Thank Chairman, for holding this important hearing, and thank you for working with me uh, on the resolution um, and just on this very important issue. Um, I think the uh, eyes of the world are watching, and certainly the Communist uh, Party of, of China is watching as we speak. Uh, the genocide against the Uyghurs and other ethnic minorities at the hands of the Chinese Communist Party is a moral test of our time. There are a few other issues that demand this level of attention, not just from our own committee, but from the world. Elevating this issue is one of the key recommendations made by the China Task Force that I chaired, so I'm grateful that we can give it the bipartisan attention that it deserves. I'm also grateful, Mr. Chairman, that you joined with me to introduce and pass a resolution condemning this genocide and calling for action. When our resolution passes the House, it will ensure we are speaking in a, a united voice with the current and prior administrations by calling these ongoing atrocities genocide. Continuing this bipartisan effort will be essential as we respond to this crisis, and I thank you for being my partner on this issue. Genocide is a term that we reserve for history's most serious crimes against humanity. It is essential we get our response right, not as Republicans and Democrats, but as Americans. Because we've faced this test before, and we've always passed that test. Our response to the Uyghur genocide should be an example of our character rather than a stain on our history. This humanitarian crisis is about more than just U.S. foreign policy towards the People's Republic of China. It is about the legitimacy of the post-World War system designed to stop these atrocities whenever and wherever they are being committed. It is about how we stop the CCP from contaminating consumer supply chains with slave labor. It's about how we stop using cotton sourced from the Uyghur homeland and picked by those without a voice. And it is about how we convince our private sector to act consistently with American values after they developed a reliance on the PRC's consumer market over the last 40 years and as the United States attempted to bring China into the family of nations, but failed. That's why I'm disappointed our minority witness uh, declined our invitation uh, to join us this afternoon. I did invite uh, Nike Incorporated, an American company that's now struggling with the moral challenge many American companies face. Some analysts have claimed that Nike's supply chain is tainted by forced labor in China. Nike has publicly denied they source uh, from the Uyghur areas and have denied Uyghur forced labor exists in their factories. Uh, simply taking a stand against forced labor has exposed them to a massive boycott effort led by the CCP's online mouthpieces. However, we can assume that part of their decision process may have been likely the backlash from the CCP. And on the other end of the spectrum is Disney, which actually thanked the CCP propaganda office responsible for covering up the Uyghur genocide. And in the end credits it in one of their mo most recent films, Mulan. And they actually filmed portions of the movie in the Xinjiang province. We cannot put profits ahead of doing what's right. And the American people need to hear from these companies doing business with the CCP. Whether they're household names or, or who is just trying to do the right thing or they're companies who shamelessly do the bidding of the CCP to maintain their market asset access, no matter what the moral cost is. The true nature of these Faustian deals need to come to light so consumers can begin to know where their money is going. And even though Nike has declined to join us today, we're still honored to be joined by an excellent panel of witnesses who use their voices to stand up for Uyghurs and other ethnic and religious minorities who are persecuted by the CCP. So I wanna thank uh, you again, Mr. Chairman, for uh, your hard work in this effort, and thank you so much for holding this hearing. I yield back.